and bliss. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today I'm using this small uh, posies die, which has a lot of little tiny posies that you can die cut. And I'm going to gonna, uh, do some watercoloring here with this paper. This is Bristol Smooth paper. You can definitely use some watercolor paper if you have that. I have Bristol Smooth pre-cut with me, so I'm using that. And I'm also going to use a couple of these um, color fuse inks, uh, one in yellow, which is custard, and another one in this red color palette, which is called Nectar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mush that ink onto my glass mat and then just go ahead and watercolor. I am going to speed the video from this point onwards. And it's a very simple card, so you can just follow along while I explain what I'm doing. So here, as, you, as I said, I am just mushing those two colors and then I'm going to spritz this watercolor paper or Bristol Smooth paper really well with water and then just drop this color um, randomly. There is no pattern that I'm following. You can do anything. It doesn't have to be the way I have laid it. You can lay it however you want it because you will eventually see what we're going to do with this. So once I've done the first base, now I want to... Um, darken the colors so i'm just going to take the same two colors again and i'm going to go over the same spots where i had placed the previous two colors and then i'm going to heat set it it's very important to heat set between your um between your um what do you call layers uh, so that it doesn't muddle you know what i'm saying i hope it makes sense now i've taken the same two colors that i used but i'm using the reinkers and you can see how vibrant the reinkers are compared to the um, the the in uh, the cube itself, um, and so I just wanted a little bit more vibrancy in my colors, and that's the reason why I should move to the reinkers. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the color fusings. I like it because they work beautifully with water. Uh, if you have watercolors, absolutely go ahead and use watercolors as well. But I'm just using the color fusings just so that um, one it's easy and they do work beautifully as watercolors and here you can see i'm just building those layers and as i'm building them i'm also drying them between each layers so that i can get a nice um a gradation of the layers and then i'm also going to add some on the glass mat and i'm going to just mush that paper onto that watercolor so you can just see it creates more texture to that watercolor surface don't worry about streaking and uh, the droplets all of that will look beautiful when we start to go with the card and then i'm going to spray it with some water here and what that does is the water takes away some of the ink uh, and i'm just going to heat set it and then i'm going to take a tissue paper or paper towel and i'm just going to absorb the water and you can see how it's kind of created that water spots all over the place. Now I'm going to take the die cut that I showed you earlier and I'm going to die cut these two uh, different kinds of posies multiple times and here you can see I've got them all die cut. I had earlier done another panel which was a little darker than the one that I created on the video. Uh, so I've got two different uh, color sets and then I'm going to take a side folding white note card and I'm going to make sure that I have it laid flat so it doesn't pop up on me for the next step and then i'm taking this uh, stencil from brass and bliss as well i will have the name of the stencil in the description box below and i'm going to take the sticky mat here so that i can hold the paper or my cardstock in place so it doesn't move you can always uh, add um tape to keep it uh, on the on your surface as well i have the sticky mat so i could use it but I am taping the stencil on the cardstock so that nothing moves. And then I'm going to take this yellow um, Distress Color Oxide ink and I'm just going to blend some yellow shading from the bottom to the top. And I'm keeping the darker color concentrated in the bottom and going lighter as I go about. And then I'm also going to take some yellow, uh, sorry, gold watercolor, pa uh, <laughs> watercolor paint. And I'm going to add some splatter to this background you can see here and it's just it looks beautiful I love splatter when I'm whenever I'm doing some watercolor because it just adds to the card and then I'm just going to peel off the um, stencil and you can see what we are left with and you have that little frame 
with uh, the color that you have added or the little uh, inking, ink blending that you have added. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a tape here and I'm going to tear it to the bottom. That's just again, I'm masking that bottom. And I'm going to take a ruler and a black fine line pen and I'm just going to flick. So it's, you don't have to go straight, just the bottom has to be straight and then just flick. Let your hands go loose and flick those lines and they'll automatically create those stems. You can see there, I'm, I'm really not going absolutely straight. I'm just starting off straight at the bottom and then I'm just flicking away. And you can see how it added some of the stems and I'm just deepening the ends right there. And I'm also gonna take a gray color pencil here and I'm gonna do the same thing. What this is doing, it's adding a shadow for these grass blades or plant uh, stems or whatever it is. You will see eventually it's actually stems for the flowers. So I'm just adding some uh, shadow and you can see they're very lightly. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. Can you see that? Uh, so there's some shadow created by those grass blades. Now I'm just gonna drop these flowers. And all you're gonna do now is just add those flowers to the end of each of those stems that you created. Just go to town with this. There is really no thinking here. Put a dark one, put a light one. If you do not have two shades that I have created, if you have just one shade, you'll be fine because there are so many variations that comes out because we did that watercolor paper at the beginning. And when you die cut it, you get this beautiful multicolored flowers. And you can see how pretty they look. I'm just, I'm just, going to town with it, just adhering them with liquid glue. Um, I'm really not thinking too much here. Like you can see some of the flowers are repeated in the same place, same color. So don't think a lot, just have fun uh, putting those flowers together. And you can see how they've come together. Now I'm using this uh, stamp, Happy Birthday, from the Silhouette Stamp Set. And I'm going to actually um, stamp that right at the bottom of the uh, the layer the panel that we created now this is practically a one layer card except for those flowers that we have idiot so it's really not going to be hard for you to mail it and again so many of those flowers get die cut that you can easily mass produce a couple of these cards and just change the sentiments to whatever you like you can even make it into a thank you card now I'm just taking that same yellow paint that I used for splattering and I'm going to add some centers to the flowers. Some of them I'm leaving blank and the reason for that is I'm going to add some gemstones to the centers of a few of them. Again, just to kind of add a little extra detail to a very simple card. I just feel like the vibrancy of the colors, the background, um, the, the stamp, the black stamped happy birthday and these gemstones just adds to this very, very simple card. I hope you really like this video. Here are some close-ups of those um, cards that we created. And I really hope you give these die cuts a go and you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay blissful.